Every morning when you open your eyes to welcome the light, you're not just joining the ordinary flow of life you're entering a hallowed place. Your time and very being are required as you set out on a quest that will take you on a trip of the soul. However, you will face tests that test not just your ideas, but also your very essence as you go along the spiritual path. The capacity to release oneself is one of them. Cornerstone and first challenges being able to pass these tests is another let us enter the light as we look at the most important tests of spiritual awakening, the signs we should take notes of, and what spiritual awakening means, get set as we open your eyes to the extraordinary what is spiritual. Awakening spiritual awakening typically occurs following the experience of the dark night of the soul. You experience a profound shift within yourself after enduring and descending further into despair, awakening your dormant soul. Now stirs come to understand the futility of the materialistic world and begin to question your own existence, those around you can't help but notice the transformation. You've undergone. It seems like you're experiencing a sense of frustration with the lack of progress. Despite seeking therapy sessions, it's common to experience frequent headaches, body aches, and fatigue, but unfortunately, medication may not provide a complete solution. It's because you don't have any mental or physical illness. It seems like your soul is yearning for a change, and the best way to achieve that is by exploring your inner self. Upon awakening, you're driven to discover a spiritual path, feeling a sense of restlessness until it is found. Once you grasp the path, you embark on a new journey. A spiritual awakening is a sudden experience. It happens when you least expect it. When the awakening occurs, the door to the spiritual journey is unlocked. You embark on a new journey as you choose the path ahead, or you may not continue on your journey. However, engaging in such behavior would have negative consequences for your well-being is because your soul is now awakened and prepared for the journey, and not moving forward would cause it to return to slumber. Embarking on a spiritual awakening is far from a glamorous experience However, it can be quite challenging just specially. In the beginning, it is. Believe that when the awakening occurs, a divine power grants you the courage you need next we will. Talk about the eight stages or tests of spiritual awakening, unhappiness, despondency, and feeling feeling lost during this stage. You go through the previously mentioned dark night of the soul. This is a period characterized by a lack of clarity, a sense of detachment feelings of isolation, low mood, and a general dissatisfaction with one's life. You seem to be looking for something, but it's not clear what exactly you're searching for. There is a deeper complexity to the experience of feeling empty than what initially appears. This emotion can be quite puzzling, especially when it is associated with the process of spiritual awakening. Indeed, individuals who experience persistent feelings of emptiness often find themselves embarking on a spiritual quest to discover a sense of completeness and inner tranquility dealing with the feeling of emptiness on a daily basis can lead to significant changes in one's inner life, which can ultimately have a positive impact when one fully faces and comprehends the loss of one's soul. It sparks a profound spiritual transformation. You're experiencing a profound sense of emptiness within this stage can arise naturally or as a result of significant life events, such as a breakup, divorce, death, trauma, illness, or major life change shifting perspectives, you begin to see reality from a completely new perspective. At this point, you begin to perceive the falsehoods and illusions perpetuated by society. You're experiencing a sense of dissatisfaction with life feeling unsettled by the suffering you witness and a lack of hope in the face of the world's problems you now perceive life differently from your previous state of contented ignorance, seeking answers and meaning there must be a purpose to all of this correct at this point. You're delving into the profound inquiries. You're on a quest to discover your true self unravel, your spiritual purpose and unravel the profound meaning of life. You will explore various metaphysical self-help and esoteric fields in your quest for answers and truth you're primarily interested in embarking on. A spiritual journey, disillusionment, and feeling lost again? Life revolves around constant motion. In the journey of spiritual awakening, there's a constant EB and flow.
At this point, you may start to feel disinterested and fatigued with your spiritual teachers or practices you might grow tired of. The superficial spiritual content that is prevalent and yearns for a more profound experience you may have. Even experienced extended periods of connection with the divine, but only to feel disconnected again. This is a common occurrence. It's natural to feel disturbed and deeply upset by this experience furthermore. Although you may have encountered numerous mental, emotional, and spiritual breakthroughs, they may appear to lack depth. You long for a genuine sense of self and a profound connection to spirituality that encompasses every aspect of your being. You may find that your current dissatisfaction and lack of progress will serve as a catalyst for seeking something more fulfilling spiritual ego. It's possible to go through spiritual bypassing where you believe fear is not real and only focus on love and positivity, avoiding negative emotions and ignoring your own darkness. We've all been there on multiple occasions. It's important to remember that this is not a one-time occurrence and there is no need to feel ashamed according to one of my friends in the spiritual writing community. It can be challenging to avoid feeling overconfident when things are going smoothly during this stage. It can be beneficial to develop a sense of awareness and incorporate the ego mind. This will allow you to view the hidden aspects of yourself with kindness and understanding it is crucial for us to fully accept and embrace every aspect of ourselves even the ones that we may not feel particularly proud of, as we proceed, our scale remains balanced, avoiding abrupt shifts from light to dark or vice versa. We strive to discover our inner towel, that state of perfect equilibrium where we neither elevate others above ourselves nor diminish our own worth. Naturally acquiring the ability to observe and manage the ego is a process that takes time for most individuals. It is important to grant ourselves the patience to reach that point at our own pace. Take it one step at a time. Take your time. There's no need to hurry. Our only destination is right here, finding answers and experiencing breakthroughs through self-contemplation. You will discover certain teaches, practices, or belief systems that can alleviate your existential anguish. Be cautious. There is a tendency for spiritual bypassing to occur. In this stage, you will experience a profound transformation as familiar patterns fade away and your authentic self starts to surface. You might encounter various mystical experiences or fleeting moments of Satori spiritual enlightenment that provide you with a glimpse into the fundamental nature of reality. This is a period filled with happiness, optimism, bonding, and wonder into integration, expansion, Joy integration involves applying the spiritual lessons you've learned from your inner and soul work to your everyday life integration. Occurs effortlessly and intentionally as a regular part of profound spiritual practice. During this stage, you will undergo significant and enduring transformations at a profound level during the integration phase. Individual often have extended mystical experiences and moments of unity with the divine keep in mind that achieving enlightenment or complete self-realization is never a certainty we can work towards it, but ultimately it is bestowed upon us as a gift from life. However, a deep sense of peace, love, and joy arises and is experienced during this stage. You might be feeling prepared to become a spiritual guide and share your wisdom with others. Life will shift its focus from individuality to collective unity, you might experience a shift in your awareness and begin to see life from a more unified perspective above all else. You will experience a strong sense of connection, inner peace, and harmony with life mastering spiritual lessons. This is where previous trends start to show again. You can feel as though you've lost contact with the universe and are once more becoming unspiritual at this point. It's a bad emotion to have since, as you pursue your purpose, you almost want to feel like a Buddha serene and peaceful with everything under control with ease. But upon closer inspection, a mystical phenomenon is revealed lessons that we thought we had conquered a long time ago resurface in life, but not to remind us of our shortcomings. It is intended to assist us in deepening and polishing our performance. Finally, we'll look at signs of spiritual awakening a noticeable change in your behavior, one of the most important and genuine.
Indicators of spiritual awakening is likely what you do on a daily basis, addiction neurosis and compulsive. Conduct are signs of the lower soul or ego. There are no such tendencies in the spirit or higher self. The spirit is already all and complete. Thus, it isn't motivated to satisfy necessities, thus experiencing a fleeting sense of completion or okayness is indicative of a spiritual awakening you might. Unintentionally, be truly kinder toward others as a result of this okayness, you're going through a rough situation in life you face. Some incredibly difficult obstacles in life, your job has failed, a loved one has passed away. You've suffered a significant financial loss or an unexpected sickness, or you've experienced betrayal and heartache. You feel powerless and that your life is crumbling around you. You're faced with the grimmest reality and are at a loss on how to respond. You experience intense discomfort and a sense of being alone throughout. This stage you search for a way out, but you can't locate one a deepening in your emotional well-being. Our bodies being upset is probably the main thing preventing spiritual awakening. We heal this scar by addressing childhood emotional trauma, which allows us to experience more authentically and fully resuming this emotional flow has an impact on many facets of our existence. We no longer become controlled by a multitude of archetypes. Instead, we become more truly human as a result, we are less resistant to experiencing even the unpleasant emotions we previously avoided an increasing number of people are willing to face their emotions including fear, wrath, and guilt rather than medicating themselves and avoiding their sensations simultaneously when mental stability increases emotional. Stimuli decrease being neutral turns into a value trait a tendency to slow down and think about the past to see the above signs of spiritual awakening you need to think about yourself when you look back to understand the present these days it's hard to do this reflecting back because we move so quickly striving for success getting things done and performing at your best are all good things but they can quickly turn into signs of stress it's possible for laziness to help us grow spiritually, so one more sign of spiritual awakening is that you start to think and slow down more. Your desire to learn more about yourself and your behavior comes to life reflecting helps us get to memories that we've pushed down and that make us act in ways that don't make sense in the present. The spirit is neutral and interested. Though, so this drive to think about oneself doesn't judge, blame, or attack your intuition is heightened, you start to hear the still small voice inside you. Over time, you let it help you make choices and you may become more open to the lessons your unconscious mind is trying to send you through your dreams, your body and activities like writing in a journal or meditating. You might even talk to your spirit guides, spirit animals or other psychic helpers. Learning how to trust your gut will help you find your hidden gifts and skills over time, more and more self-honesty and personal responsibility as you start to discover more inner strength, there is a growing openness to being completely honest with yourself. You've reached a point where you can no longer tolerate the deceptive games your inner trickster plays with. You, now, there is a growing sense of responsibility and accountability for your thoughts, emotions, and actions. According to therapist David Rue Gilt, is considered the final gateway to mature adulthood without awareness of our actions. There is no sense of responsibility without accountability there. Is no reason to feel guilty. However, the feeling of guilt that accompanies a spiritual awakening is not imposed by others, but rather stems from your own conscience, motivated by a genuine desire to improve yourself holding the opposites together. Many of us tend to have a fixed dogmatic mindset that sees things in absolutes in order to eliminate any confusion that comes with being a grown-up we choose one side of a dilemma and solely align ourselves with it. As parents, we may believe that we love our children unconditionally, but sometimes we fail to recognize the underlying result, resentment we may hold towards them when we separate ourselves from one aspect of the opposite. It may seem like a way to alleviate our ego's conflict. However, this actually strengthens our shadow through spiritual awakening West. Learn to embrace the inherent contradictions within ourselves, leading us toward a state of psychological completeness. 
you start getting more compassionate towards others now that you've come to understand that life holds a deeper significance, you've chosen to embrace kindness. In your actions, you have a deep sense of compassion and a genuine ability to understand and connect with others. On an emotional level, it's important to recognize that we are all at different points in our individual journeys as a result of this understanding, you refrain from passing judgment on others at this point. It's important to begin practicing forgiveness you want to change your job career. It is common for individuals to consider changing their current job or career when they experience a spiritual awakening. You may find yourself transitioning from your current job to a period of unemployment life becomes more challenging during this phase. Seems like your friends and family struggle to comprehend your decisions. They believe your actions are impulsive and wise. This marks a significant period of transformation in your life. Additionally, there is a possibility of ending your relationship with your romantic partner. It appears that everything is unraveling when spiritual awakening occurs significant. Changes take place to pave the way for fresh starts, a shift in priorities and values recognizing the power within ourselves, alters our perspectives and beliefs religion, offers a moral code that is grounded in a set of rules. Follow these instructions and avoid these actions. However, we now have the opportunity to create our own ethical framework, allowing us to assess what is most beneficial given the circumstances the ego is incapable of achieving this, as it is driven solely by basic needs, while only the higher self possesses the ability to do so, the shift towards higher virtues is the reason behind the Changes in our behavior during spiritual awakening refer to these spiritual values as being values or be values. They encompass wholeness, perfection, completion, justice, aliveness, beauty, truth, and self-sufficiency. The entire process of spiritual awakening can take several months to unfold. As it is a gradual journey, however, once you've experienced it becomes an integral part of your being that cannot be undone. Once you reach a state of heightened consciousness, there is no turning back. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of spiritual awakening. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time.